Yes, yes, show. To the beat, Joe. We're going to keep that beat going right here on the Doc Bob Lee. Welcome back. And uh, our next guest is a DJ who has worked and performed around the country and joins us to discuss her career, the impact of the pandemic, uh, and, and a whole lot more. I mean, she's doing it a different way now. A lot of people wanted to go online and Zoom it and do this and do that. We welcome DJ Chocolate. Yes, indeed. Welcome Hi. to the show. Hello. How are you? Good. So how are you doing it now? I mean, you don't have to bring any equipment out. You don't have to get dressed. <laughs> well, you do well, from the top up, you know. And right. <laughs> I, I, I still try to, I still try to, to, to keep it, keep it, you know, keep it ladylike. And so yeah, I, I, like if you're going out, right? head to toe. I'll do, I'll do a little something. I'm just may not put on my heels. So, <laughs> there you, go. you know, I'm, you may get down to my feet neither I'm barefoot or I have on some socks, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but literally it's been uh, amazing. It's definitely been an adjustment, but I basically kind of walked down the hall um, yeah. from my living room or my bedroom to my uh, home studio and I turn on and rock out. So it's been, it's yeah. been an adjustment, but I can't say that I don't like it. It's like the new normal. I mean, you know, yeah. you wait a difference. You you want the people in front of you. You want to see that crowd out on the dance floor and see how they react to whatever you throw on, you know. Oh, yeah. They may, oh, did you hear that? Yeah. You know, and, and, and how, you know, you want to know if they're going to keep dancing, right? But you know right. that. you can Now you have to visualize it. It's like, it's like being on radio as opposed to being on TV. That's it. On radio is the... You know, theater of the mind, you have to wonder what they're doing, but you know from your experience out there. Oh, yeah. So, how has it been different for you? Because I know you'd be out in the clubs and different places like that, but now you're in the studio. Well, it's um, it as as you mentioned, it is actually similar to uh, to radio, and that is my background. So, <laughs> I um, oh, yeah, that's a great compare. Yeah, I, I'm. A, a vet, I guess, because of the number of years now that I've been in, in and out, you know, uh -huh. how of radio, but uh, it is definitely a theater of the mind uh, situation, but I think I've been very fortunate um, with some of the gigs that I, I've done where I can feel the energy anyway uh -huh. with uh, people interacting with me in the chat rooms, and then there, there have been situations where I can see people's uh, faces on the screen, and some of them are like this, and so some of them are, you know, getting into it and stuff. And I'm like, you know, you, you still yeah, 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 yeah. To them and get them to respond and react and everything. But um, it's it's different from being in front yeah. of a crowd. But I can say uh, because of that uh, virtual barrier, if you will, um, I'm able to kind of internalize uh, my vibe better and, and really yeah. take the audience on a journey. So um, I, I'm taking something away from, from the virtual situation that I will definitely implement the next time I'm able to uh, get in front of people, which yeah. I'm not rushing, you know, I'm not rushing at all, but <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I'll take, I'll you know, take. You don't have to rush to get dressed, no, put on no, heels or anything. No, 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 you, no. You set up your own equipment or you just bring the, the, the top deck? Uh, when, when I'm DJing in, in front of a crowd. Oh yeah, definitely. I have um, a, a, a crew, my, my boys, uh -huh. and we, we go out and uh, we set up and everything. So I'm, I'm definitely one that uh, get, gets my hands dirty. I'm a lady, like you know, don't, don't get me yeah. wrong, but I, I like to get my, my hands you know, dirty. I hear you, DJ yeah. Chocolate in the house. So <laughs> wait a minute, we spoke about theater. You, you got into the theater and acting and all yeah. that. Talk about that experience. So I uh, was fortunate um, enough some years ago to pick uh, uh -huh. up with a theater company out of Detroit, Michigan. And uh, what it was, it was a small theater company and uh, gave me a bit of the bug and um, we traveled all over the country for about four years off and on. And um, I was able to perform original pieces and original yeah. characters. And uh, so I've continued that and gotten back into theater um, as of a uh, few years ago. And yeah. I've been performing um, here locally in the area um, with, some, uh, with a, a, a black theater company. Yeah. And um, ha have been auditioning for you know roles, um, television roles, and uh, film roles, and everything. So, uh, wow. yeah, it's it's. We'd love to see you on TV. Well, Go ahead. well hey, yeah. hey, that's 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 the goal. Bring it, oh, bring it, bring it. <laughs> well, wait a minute. 
Now, the road is kind of tough, right? How, yeah. how do you deal with that? Uh, it comes with the job, comes with the territory. Um, I look at it as just a way that you can meet people. You can expand your mind. Um, you get a chance to see different places and, of uh, course, um, different, you know, being a music lover, each part of the country or the world that I'm able to travel to, everybody has a different flavor. And so uh, by me getting a chance to taste their flavor and interpret it my way and give them something musically that will satisfy their taste, it makes it all better. So the road is, is a beautiful place. I, yeah. I, I take it as a, a challenge, but um, I, absorb, I absorb it. There you go. And uh, you have a, um, a platform. What's the Greek platform? All I around? do. So uh, Grown in Greek is Grown in Greek. Grown in Greek. I, I am a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, which is the first black Greek uh, letter sorority. <laughs> well, I was going to say, but you do it. Well, yes, well you, want me to do it? you want me to no, do it? Really? No. I can do it now. I might get loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got I a microphone right again. But but no, it's um it's a platform that uh, was was born uh, a few years ago, and the mission of Grown and Greek is to connect, share, and empower the Black Greek experience. And so, yeah. what uh, we've done, my team and I have done, is over the last uh, three or so years, is to try to find impactful people and stories and uh, partnerships and share those in uh -huh. order to um, make sure that we are continuing the message of uh, philanthropy, of togetherness, of um, energy that brings um, the culture together. And so uh, the platform has grown, uh, wow, tremendously where we've been able to connect with um, wow. so many people, you know, across the country and uh, we're continuing to grow. Um, you can find it and find um, the, the TV aspect at grownandgreektv.com. So oh, a lot good. of interviews that we've done with people that are just phenomenal that you probably wouldn't hear about had right. it probably not been for uh, the platform. Uh, you can find it at grownandgreektv.com. We have uh, social media platforms that uh, we've collected um, information and also connected with people who are just, you know, phenomenal that, um, I think it's hopefully going to be useful uh, in, in a way, and, but it will also just continue to um, empower others to realize that Black Greek life is uh, impactful and mm -hmm. together we can do so many uh, awesome things. And Sandra DaCosta and Andre are oh, with yeah. you every step of the way with the Bullion oh, Foundation. I love them. I love them. I love them. Yeah. Um, I can't say enough. I I, <laughs> I um, say all the time, I'm probably one of the luckiest girls in the world because of uh. history that Sandra, oh my gosh, her resume is crazy. And so to not only- She's been in her, the record business. Man, yeah. She, she knows she, all about she's it. She's it. She's it. Uh -huh. And so to have her- as you know, not only a mentor, but my you know my manager, and then Andre, who's like, mm -hmm. like the, that brother, you know, that's just like, he's so brilliant. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm a lucky girl. Website, uh -huh. social media, give it to me. All right, djchocolate.com, uh -huh. and it's the same thing on social media, but you got to spell it out. So the D O T C O M, you spell that out, but it's djchocolate.com. I love it. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us. Of course. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. DJ Chocolate. Chocolate. Yes, sir. Chocolate. Chocolate. That's how they say it in the Dominican Republic. Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. Uno cero siete punto cinco WBLS. Chocolate. What you said. One hundred seven point five WBLS. Chocolate. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we'll see you very soon. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Much love. All right. We'll take a break, and uh, we'll come back with some more open next.